What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got Killer Fonte in the studio. What's popping? How you doing? I'm good. What's up with it, man? Nothing much, man. I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you here. I appreciate you coming through today. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you having me. And you know, I I, I got the legendary, uh, the legendary Bay Area. Oakland rapper, man. I got the one and only Filthy Rich in here, man. Oh, Filthy, what up? Not, not rapper, man. CEO, man. CEO. CEO. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. CEO, man. <laughs> but, um, Fonte, just to get into it, uh, let the people know uh, where you from, where they can find your social media. I'm from uh, East Oakland. You know what I mean? 85th. You can uh, find me on social media, uh, underscore F0 NTE Fonte. Another underscore at the end. You know what I mean? And Killer Fonte on YouTube. Just to get into it, you know, you just, you signed with FOD. Like, how did the deal come about? Uh, my guy Debo, he the one that uh put the play together, linked me in with Phil. Yeah, you know what I mean, I was fucking with him uh on the streets and with the music shit though. You know what I'm saying? Then he just linked us in. And that's how it came. How long do you think it? Uh, how long did it take for from from when y'all met to you signing? How long did that take? Probably like, I say like five months, like probably like five six months. Yeah, you wanted to sign from the jump, or you was not nah, you, you from, was, me, from Debo or from me? He talking about from who? From Filthy, like uh, from me meeting nah. Phil. Oh, from me meeting Phil. Yeah. Uh, nah, it was like probably a few weeks, like like probably like two weeks or something. Yeah, yeah, like two weeks or something. And what was your mindset when you was about to sign? What was you thinking? Uh, shit, we had uh, had a conversation already about, you feel me, well, like what I want to do with my music and shit, you know what I'm saying? We kicked it a few times, you know what I'm saying? Hung out and he knew uh, that I wanted to, feel me, fuck with this music shit tough. So he just hit me like, you know what I mean? Let's, let's get this music shit going, like what you want to do. I let him know everything I'm trying to do, like, feel me, how focused I am on my music and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just went from there. So when did you start making music? Like how, like, how did you even get into rapping for real? I started making music, man, in like, I say like 2008, 2009 when I made my first song. Damn. That's like yeah. a, a, like, That's a long ass song. Like 12, 12 13, damn, like, 14, like 14 yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, I didn't, uh, I didn't really like start to take it serious, serious, and like really like make a decision on like, this is what I want to do to like 2014. And w was there like a, a moment that, that changed your <laughs> mind or like what happened? I was just always like doing street shit, but still, you feel me, trying to fuck with the music, but I really wasn't too much serious. It was more of a hobby yeah. at the at the time. But then I, uh, 2014, what, I, that's when I came home. I had went to jail and shit and I came home from a little violation yeah but then i got linked in with a, a few people that was more serious than me on the music shit so you know what i mean it made me it get a little more serious up more yeah nah that that uh definitely makes sense i i can uh <laughs> i can respect that um you were just recently on sway how was that oh yeah the interview was dope you know what i'm saying uh my boy quaz he hooked that up with sway you know what i'm saying that's family yeah so, yeah. Sway legendary. That's like sure. legendary. Hell, <laughs> super legendary. Shout out to Sway, man. <laughs> no, I thought that was tight. Um, but can you talk about like how you grew up? Like, uh, was your parents around? Like, what was that like? My dad wasn't around, so it was just uh, me, my two brothers, two sisters, and my mom. Feel me? Uh, I grew up in the eighties. You know what I'm saying? On eighty fifth, eighty six Boys and Girls Club, and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the ghetto, <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? 80s baby shit, normal, regular shit happening. How would you describe Oakland to somebody that's never been there? Shit, it's a it's a fun place to be if you ain't from there. You know what I'm saying? Some people that's <laughs> from there, shit. <laughs> some, people that's from, some people that's from there think, like, you know what I mean? It's fun to them, but I would say it's a fun place to be. You know what I'm saying? It's for sure a lot of energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like motherfuckers that's into shit and doing extra shit. Yeah. It ain't too much fun to motherfuckers that's actually from there. Yeah. Cause we know the history. Y'all know y'all you know, know, I mean? know like what's going on exactly. and shit. Nah, nah, that, that, that makes sense for sure. 
Uh, how you feel about the the Bay Area music scene right now? The Bay Area music scene. Uh, you like it? Yeah, it's it's cool. It's picking up. Shit, I'm starting to see like hella more artists. You know what I'm saying? Being put out there or whatever. But I don't really too much even pay attention to that shit like that. Why is that? I really focus on my own Just self. Focus on yourself. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Um, do you feel that the Bay has its own sound right now? The Bay having its own sound. Or do you feel like we doing a lot of copying of other areas? It's for sure a lot of copying of other areas, but I think like people try to take something from here, here, and there and try to put it all together, you know what I mean? But the Bay for sure has its own sound, but ain't nobody like too much sticking with it. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about people, you know, dissing niggas that died? That's foul. You, you, think, you, think, you don't think that's cool? That's not cool at all. Nah. Why is that? <laughs> I I don't I don't fuck with it like that. I don't do shit like that. You know what I mean? Like I don't think nobody should be disrespecting no nobody that's dead, you know what I mean? Cause shit. How could you expect somebody to feel sorry for you when you die? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's that's real shit. How did you come up with your name? Killer. They called me Killer when I was younger. You know what I mean? Uh my brother was calling me that shit. So it was it was Killer Fresh at first. Killer Fresh. That's what it was at first, but uh, the killer came about from my brother calling me that shit as a kid. My name Care, yeah. so you know everybody Care. They always kill a Care. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But uh, I kept the killer on there because I was like, then you know everything I do, I, I, I I'm a killer at it. You know what I'm saying. So it was the Fonte came from my partners calling me Fonte like on some smooth fly shit. So I took the fresh off and put the Fonte right there just to try to soften up the killer a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because people you, think... You think people take that the wrong way? Yeah, that's why I did it because, <laughs> like, you know, like, soon motherfuckers say, here, killer, they thinking of shooting Bad up, shit, bang, yeah. bang, bang, yeah. spending in, like, especially where I'm, where I'm from, you know what I mean? Yeah, So they going to sure. think that <laughs> <laughs> off the dribble. If somebody never heard a song by you, which song <laughs> would you tell them to listen to? Right now, I would tell them to go listen to... uh. Get it popping. I just dropped that today. You know what I mean? Out the trap, featuring Filthy Rich. Yeah. Uh, last lap featuring Mac, Mac Guy Debo, and all my life uh, featuring Wap Deal. Those are my four latest videos I dropped off my recent project. I one thing I I I, I do like about you is like uh, I thought you got your own sound. I I like that you got your own YouTube and shit. Um, I think that's important, you know. Yeah, I, you know, that's one thing I, li- I like about uh, Filthy Rich. Though he's not like he's not on no selfish shit. Like he could he could be like, of course he gonna drop some videos on his channel to get to get y'all more buzz and shit. But he's not gonna be like, only drop your videos on my channel. Yeah. Don't build your own shit up. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of niggas do that though. You feel me? Like, nah, yeah, for sure. Nah, he for sure ain't no selfish dude. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everything he do is to you know help. Everybody that's around them. What have you? What would you say? Like you learned since you feel me being around the FOD camp and, and seeing the way shit is moving. Like what have you learned? I learned how to push, you know, like and and really put more time and energy into my work. You know what I'm saying? And like just focus and like like even like uh just to. The method of recording, like, you know, putting projects together proper ways and shit. Uh, really, like, like giving yourself deadlines and shit and really meeting them, you know what I mean? And just, just, I'm learning hella shit right now. Like, it's a lot of shit that I wasn't doing with my music before. Yeah. Like, I was just all over the place. I was just dropping music. You know what I'm saying? Just motherfuckers around me just listening to my music. So, just being organized, you know what I'm saying? Doing shit the right way. And, like... What what is your 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 process in the studio like? Or what you you freestyling? You writing? You punching in? Like what you do? I write. Uh, sometimes I punch in. I don't freestyle at all. No, nah, I don't freestyle. You didn't freestyle with uh, with Sway at all? No, nah, nah. I, I wrote that shit. That was some, some pre shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think not too many motherfuckers go in there and freestyle like that. <laughs> you didn't no fucking Eminem or nobody yeah. like that. And so before you 
you signed with FOD, like, like how was you releasing your music? Like, what was the process before? And like, how uh, did you change? I was dropping, I was releasing hella videos. I had released one project already called You Made Me Do It. And shit, like I was saying, uh, I was I was just dropping shit, you know, like no timing or anything like that. I was just releasing music, just dropping music and dropping music. No, no promotion, like you know what I'm saying, not promoting it or putting it out there the right way. So that's what I'm learning right now. Yeah. But I was always dropping music and shit. Nah, you've been, you've been making music for a while, so it, it's dope to see uh, it finally come to fruition. You feel me? And, yeah, right on. You know, because some niggas make music for. Uh, <laughs> 20 years and no shit happened. Oh, man. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> so I, I'm happy that uh that 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 you that you signed and that you you pushing and shit. For sure. Have you ever had a normal job? Nah, like what summer never. job as a kid? Just like a regular job. No, nah, I, I had a little summer job as a. But never like a, not no regular job. No, nah, hell no. Nah. nah. <laughs> Why is that? It's never, never. I just told thing. myself I wasn't gonna be working. Not you know what I mean. Yeah. I was just like fuck that. I was always getting my money in the streets and shit like that. Did you always know that you wanted to be a rapper? No, nah, I was a hooper at first. I was playing basketball. Oh, so. What high school you went to? <laughs> Come on. <man. laughs> he, he was a hooper and getting served like that. This nigga weak, man. Y'all, I, I, was, I was hooping. I was hooping. Y'all play one on one. I know yeah. Filthy got the hoop court. I nah, seen nah, niggas nah, shoot. We played play three on three. Uh, who what? <laughs> Him. <laughs> them niggas was cheating. Was cheating. Yeah, I, had, I had Bang on my team. Oh, he wasn't like that. It don't matter. I had Bang on my team. You bang, him. Bang, he cool, but he, had, he didn't want He had his slippers. On. He had you picked him, but yeah. you scored all the points. I, I, I scored all the points and won this yeah. one game, but we we lost three one. The series <laughs> is three one. But I uh, I was hooping and shit. So then when I um after I dropped out of school, you feel me? High school? Yeah. Well, I, high I, I school you went to? I went to Fremont. Okay. Fremont and Dewey. Okay. Oh, cause you got and you got kicked, and shit out, like you got that, kicked yeah. out of Fremont. Then with the, I got you. So I started them <laughs> continuation schools and shit. So I, I was really done with school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, my my cousins was already rapping and shit. So then I just was going over that nigga house and just fucking around, making little songs and shit. What like what 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 went through your mind where you was like I ain't even trying to do high school no more? It just wasn't. You was getting into like a lot of trouble and shit or just. He wasn't feeling the teachers? Like, what was it? Nah, I, uh, a lot of shit play, you know what I mean? Like, just the just not having the proper support, you know what I'm saying, uh, financially. Uh, no, my up. stability was fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Like, just jump, moving house to house, staying with people. So I wasn't, like, in the right position, or I couldn't, you feel me, too much focus on school because I really had to focus on surviving, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel like, um, like what was going through your head in that time where you, you shit ain't really stable? Like you, you like fuck it. I need to make sure I can provide for myself in any way. Like is is that what your mindset is at that time? Yeah, because at I, times, at times I did. You know, like you know, uh, my mom was you know out there doing doing her shit. You know. Like she was on drugs and shit like that, but she's uh, recovered. She's ten years clean right sure. now. It's a blessing uh, for sure. So yeah, I just didn't have that support, and it was a fucked up feeling every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing what was going what's on. gonna happen, not getting no having lunch money, no bus fare, and shit like that. You know, so a motherfucker gotta <laughs> make something happen because you know what I'm saying. Everybody can't couldn't do it for me. Is it? Did you ever think about like like not having your pops around, and, and was that something that like kind of bothered you growing up? It bothered me as a kid, but like like, and I became a teenager. It really yeah, didn't it. too much affect me no more like that, like mentally or anything like that. So it was just like it is what it is. Yeah. You just dropped a new project, uh, perfect timing. Yeah. What what was the mindset for that project? Uh, I I named it Perfect Timing because I felt like everything that was not was but is still to this day that's happening in my life is happening at a perfect time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me going to prison, 
coming home after a few prison terms, you know what I'm saying? But just me finally, like, getting my mind right and, and focusing on the right shit and handling my business, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, a lot of things just lining up for me as I planned, you know, things that I was working towards that I wanted to happen for me a long time ago, but I had to really be patient and wait on it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why I named it the perfect timing. How would you say that like jail affected you? Like, what what was that <laughs> effect on you? Uh, I for sure missed out on a lot of life. You know, um, I lost my my little sister passed away. Yeah, during my time in jail. She, I know that's tough for sure. Yeah, she passed from stage four breast cancer. Yeah. Uh, just me being gone, and you know, like. I know my family and shit need me and all this shit, you know what I'm saying? And just missing out on life and, and that shit affected the motherfucker for sure. Because I, I know I could have been out here doing more with my life than sitting in the fucking box, you know? And not uh, really valuing myself the way I should should have been, you feel me? Can you say, like, like how, how, many, how long was you down for, like, I guess... You said you had been down separate times, or uh -huh. how long, like, total? I did two and some change. Then I came home for, like, six months and went back for three. Can you say why that you was, you what happened or not? Burglaries and shit. Yeah. Bipping and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> you said you was bipping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, nah, um, shit, I'm glad, I'm glad that you out. I'll, niggas don't want you to go back and shit. Oh yeah, you, I ain't going back. You found for sure. your your you finding your purpose and your uh, well, well, your motivation to keep doing this shit. Like that shit for sure slowing nigga down for sure. Yeah, all the way. Shit. <laughs> I guess this is a question for both uh, for both of y'all, but the the FOD infrastructure project just came out. Um, what was the mindset for that? Filthy, I mean, you you, you put out these projects, I mean. Devo called me. I was at home, shit, chilling, and uh, Devo called me and asked me if I uh, can rec record a song. Feel me on a, a original beat and everything. Like, man, I need you to record a song right now. ASAP putting the uh, infrastructure, the compilation out, and trying to get you a song on there. Yeah. And this was before... You had I was signed. Yeah. Got you. So this is all like in the process of that happening. And that's how I got on there. I recorded the song at the crib, got it mixing everything and sent it back right then. Nah, I I think it's tight. Filthy. I I, I do wanna ask you what what made what made you wanna do like I not I know you've done it before, but like what where did you get this idea from? Um, I just look at it like putting, you know, your niggas, your artists, and you feel me in the forefront. You get what I'm saying? Using your platform, you get what I'm saying, to um, shine light on them. Uh, like I didn't did it before. I did it with the five nine hundred boys, me, Skinny, Tudor, Steve, and Trey. Um, I didn't. I did the uh, what is it? Uh, Judge by twelve compilation, carried by six compilation, and just like. Grabbing niggas I fuck with, you know, I fuck, you know, you know, like I said, using my platform to shine light on them. I've been doing it, like, even from the the funk season mixtapes back in the day. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, it's just a formula I've been using. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, cool, this filthy tape. They gonna fuck with it for sure, so they gonna for sure listen to it. You feel me? And hear the different artists on there. Then, after, the, after them artists that's on the tape come out, drop their music. You get what I'm saying? When, when. When the uh, when the light on them, you yeah. know what I'm saying, or the momentum. Nah, I I think it's a great idea for sure. Like, and like you you got a lot of dope artists on there. Like, I always looked at it like like with the music shit is like, like Fanta he got his own click the niggas he fuck with. You feel me? Skinny got his own niggas. Tudor got his own niggas. Everybody got their own niggas. So I always looked at it like, like how Fifty Kane and then G Unit. Yeah. How Nelly and then the St. Lunatics. You feel me? It's just you come, you open the doors, and then you bring your niggas behind you. Mm -hmm. 
No, nah, no, nah, straight up. That, that that that's definitely true. Uh, I was slapping the uh, the ghetto FOD boys. That shit was hard. Y'all niggas was in Detroit when y'all shot that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we went to Detroit and shot that shit. Yeah, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was fucking with it. Um, Filthy, I, I gotta ask you this. You know, the internet's a fucked up place, but uh, there was like a uh, I don't I don't remember who posted it, but I guess some people was posting. Yo, chain. Yo, yeah, no, I guess it was no BFE chain. Niggas was saying that you lost your chain. It's not my chain. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you want to say about the chain situation? That's not my chain, man. It's not my chain. I ain't never been robbed, and, 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 and whoever posted that ain't robbed nobody for that chain. So, you know how the internet is. She undefeated. Do you. Why, why do you feel someone would want to, sh- to to show or make it seem like you got your chain taken? <laughs> you here and, and here and he here, he trying to get there. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, like I said, uh, I never was involved in no robbery. He wasn't involved in no robbery. So uh, he's a fan. You know what I'm saying? That's why he want to take pictures with the chain. Hey, fan. You know, so that's just what it is. They know, like, you know, that shit. That shit can go viral. The music ain't going viral, so they wanna. Yeah, nah, you know for sure. And it, it, it it's funny because, uh, you know, like with rappers, like a nigga getting this chain taken is like a serious thing. So it's kind of. Like, uh, do you would you say uh, that it's a bad thing? Is that, is that no, a career? It's, 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 no, it's not a career. Anything. It just depends. Like, think about it, like. What does that prove? You robbed me. What's that prove? That prove a nigga slipping. Yeah. Like. Okay. Cool. That's, that's really that's some. You feel me? That's some broke nigga shit. You get what I'm saying? Just to be real, like, you know, like, if there's really no motive behind it, is oh, you just rob a nigga just because because you just hate a nigga that you jealous? Like you, it's really some broke nigga shit. Like you get what I'm saying? So, but at the end of the day, a lot of big rappers done been robbed. You get what I'm saying? And it ain't a career or anything. It's it can happen to anybody, bro. Like. It just you know how you carry yourself. You get what I'm saying? It's not a career or anything, and it'll make you less of a man. Man, shake that shit off, man, and bounce back. You feel me? And move on, man. <laughs> Period. You know, I've been I've been wanting to ask you this for a, a while. Um, you know, I put out a clip uh, with All Black, and basically I was asking him, you know, if he felt that. He was put in the middle of 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 a of, of beef because basically he was cool with both sides, you and you know the other person, or whatever. He was cool with both sides, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've seen the clip or not, but uh, is that is that something you would say that you've noticed for rappers that they've picked chosen sides on you or? Yeah, they. Rappers pick size, rappers pick size, labels pick size, DJs pick size, promoters pick size, family pick size, friends. They they do. I mean, I didn't, my nigga just told me the other day, said that, uh, I asked him, I said, man, what happened to that little bitch you was fucking with? He was like, that's crazy. The bitch got mad at me and dropped me off, but when she dropped him off at the airport, she was slapping another nigga music, trying to be funny. Damn. You get what I'm saying? But when she wasn't mad at him, she wasn't playing and shit. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, it just, it's just, right. it just depends. Like, you, you, you know, you know, a motherfucker, you know, a motherfucker, true colors, you know, a motherfucker, true colors when you make them mad. But yeah, That's motherfuckers true. can't say they ain't, they don't pick sides or this and that. Motherfuckers pick sides, bro. But what was the comment he made? He basically said to me that he, he said, you know, people don't, People never really put him in that position, you know. People won't like put him in that position, or he wouldn't pick sides or whatever. Not necessarily saying like he chose like I pick dude over dude, but it's a lot of motherfuckers that did gravitate over there. There's a lot of motherfuckers might have gravitated over here, whatever. But motherfucker got to be real with themselves, like you know what I'm saying. You you seen different relationships. How it was before when everything was cool. Nah, I definitely yeah. see it. For you sure. get what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but I just want who did it help? So whoever picked sides and went whichever way they went, who did it help? 
Yeah. Are you niggas in a better position or the same position or worse? So I don't, I ain't really see nobody bubble or blow up or do anything. You feel me? That they yeah. wasn't already doing. It really looked like niggas declined. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? What What is y'all relationship at this moment? Who? You and Black. I mean, I, I know y'all, for sure, like y'all made music together in the past and shit, but like, it, I don't know, yeah, do you, does it, does it bother you if if you see niggas fucking with someone else more than they Hell fucking with nah. you? I, feel I don't you. give a flying fuck. Yeah. I've been that nigga, bro. We yeah. folk niggas, bro. Like, you got to understand that, bro. I don't, I don't, listen, bro. They going to, came in this world by itself, you going to die by itself, bro. I don't care who a nigga fuck with. I ain't, I ain't never made a nigga pick side, never got mad at a nigga pick side. I just pay attention to what going on. I leave it at that. I do this because of me. I don't do this to make you niggas happy. You feel me? Like, I've been doing this. I've been been that nigga, bro, before nigga. So that's just that's just what it is. I don't care who niggas fuck with. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. fuck, fuck with whoever you want to fuck with. I'm happy for y'all, bro. Like, I'm I'm good over here, regardless. Nah, nah, I feel you on that. But nah, that, that is, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people will say they feel like, a lot of people gonna say a lot of niggas they, pick they sides. Ch- they, they pick sides yeah. on Philly. <laughs> That's cool. I've been the underdog. You gotta understand that, bro. I've been I was the underdog since I started. Niggas didn't want me to be here. Niggas didn't want me to be the rapper I became. Niggas didn't want me to have a label or artist or none of that. I didn't see none of this when I you feel me first started rapping. But I've been the underdog. Niggas Ben was trying to, you feel me, close the door on the nigga when I first started. So yeah. now look. Now look where now look where they at. You get what I'm saying? So. Also, I guess uh, I will ask you this. It's something I thought about. Uh, so I interviewed um, Cookie Money about a month and a half ago, two months ago, maybe. Mm-hmm. And um, I asked him, because people, are, for some reason, people try to make it seem like y'all had a falling out. I guess y'all had like a disagreement or whatever in yeah. the past or whatever. But what was y'all relationship? Definitely, you feel me? St- two like stand up ugly niggas. Like, what was your relationship, your relationship with Cookie Money? That's still my nigga. Yeah, Cookie always gonna be my nigga. You get what I'm saying? Uh, no, Cookie growing. Cookie focusing on, you know, building his brand, you know, building houses and what he got going on. You get what I'm saying? Cook came to me early, you know, and uh, told me his plan and what he wanted to do. And I took a liking to him, you feel me? So all the knowledge, all the game that I had, you feel me? I passed it on. You get what I'm saying? Like, I've never been stingy. Like, a nigga called me, asked me where to press up some CDs, where to get these flyers made, who to shoot this video. I ain't going to never deny him. You get what I'm saying? So, that's just where it is. And, and, and a lot of artists, even the ones that don't like me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. All the niggas that don't, don't like me, I done helped. You get why, what I'm saying? why is that? Why, huh? why, why, why did you, why did you do that? Because I, I did it when I wanted to do it. I ain't doing they wanted it. So Got like, you. okay, so I could tell a nigga, yeah, a thousand times, tell him no once. He don't remember that one. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So and, it's, and now it's just all for self gain. Now it's just, now it's just, okay, cool. Post my album. Follow me. Uh, do this. Do a verse for me. Shoot a video. It's all for yourself now. But if you got to ask me for those type of things, and apparently we don't fuck with each other. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like. I'm 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 really just on fucking with niggas that's that's with the movement, not the moment. A lot of these niggas, okay, they buzz be dying and they they probably be to the side, but they know they got to come up over here. You feel me? To get that buzz back, but yeah. really don't want to, but then do 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 want to, and then want to complain <laughs> about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, that's definitely uh, that's one thing I would say I don't really like about the music industry. It's kind of like. A nigga will not really fuck with you like that, but when he needs you, mm-hmm. he on your line, he mm-hmm. up your phone, he want to be cool as fuck at that time. It's like, damn, nigga, like. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I you, just, you see shit hold, for what it is at that point. I don't hold yeah. grudges, though. That ain't me. I don't hold grudges, though. You feel me? Like, I just seen Black at the Empire Party. Came yeah. to me, shook my hand. Yeah. I know who he fuck with and who he don't fuck with. Yeah. I don't. I don't got no issue with with that. You feel me? Yeah. Do you like? There's enough money in room for everybody to do their own thing. I I do me. I don't got no issue with him. You feel me? Uh, niggas brought to my attention the comment he made though about the about the uh, interview on here. He yeah. sent the shit to me about the uh, 
change shit or whatever. I really didn't get that. I, did, I didn't understand that line about what he said about um. Uh, uh, oh, about his his young like, niggas liking jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get that. I didn't understand that. I was lost when he said that. I didn't understand that at all because um. Uh, I, I don't. I didn't know who he was talking about in that, in that part in that line. Like. I don't think that he was talking about them because I don't think that they known for jury. Yeah. So, I I, I kind of I didn't want to take it the wrong way, but yeah. it kind of was given that way. Like a nigga was saying, like I ain't gonna do that because his young niggas like jury. Like a nigga supposed to be fit. I don't I don't know. My young niggas like jury too. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you gotta have something for them to take. You get what I'm saying? So. Man. I'm sure. I'm sure every nigga, young niggas like jury. I'm sure yeah. old niggas like jury. But I was just confused by that line. Like motherfucker saying, "Hey, bro, you seen it? You think, dude, this and you?" I'm like, man, I don't know. So, I don't know. I mean, I I don't think he was, but like, who was he talking about? <laughs> I, we was definitely talking about it between. You tell me, you interviewed him. <laughs> <laughs> who are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> They sent to me. I ain't want to take it the wrong way. I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I don't you know. know. Um, you know, I, I did. I, I do go back and watch the clips. Like, yeah. I can see where it might it might have seemed like he was talking about. Because I, I get I, it. It could have been seen. But who known for jury, though? It could have been seen. It could have been seen. You know for jury, for okay, sure. Okay, cool. Um, so is they known for jury? The only reason. Hold on, though. Is they known for jury? Let's be real. I mean, like on, they got man. the. Oh, you they, being biased now? Not, hey, not, the fuck not like here. that. Like they Ooh, got no. the chains. <laughs> like, they got like they, okay. Vazi, they got the Mozzie chains. All right, but, like, cool, man. But I'm talking about known for jury. Bro. Like, like you known, known for yeah, jury. Okay, cool, like yeah, bro. of course. Yeah, all right. But, but the, the only the only reason I I would say that I didn't feel like that from from when I initially when he initially said it was because basically. I just, I just felt like he talked about you so highly. Yeah, like, I seen what, all that so too. That was just like, so that, that's what, that's, that's what, what like, that's what confused me. I was like, I, don't, I, I didn't know if it was yeah or no. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because it, that line, right, everything was cool. <laughs> everything, and that line, yeah, it I'm was like, like all good. Yeah. And then, and then that was said. Yeah, that, threw, that threw me off. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, shout out to Black. You know, shout out to you know, who, everybody doing their thing out of Oakland, bro. But yeah, that 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 line had threw me off though. But you know, I ain't tripping off that shit. I gotta ask you this, you know, um, I I dropped a, uh, it was an old clip I had did in the interview, um, you know, I, I drop, I drop, you know, clips from the old interviews that the interviews that did well, I will like resurface it, bring traction back to the interview. So I, I released the clip, yeah. and it it kind of went low key a little viral on YouTube, <laughs> but basically it was a clip of of AWACS talking about how. Basically, he put you in connection with Waka, and how you took him out of a video. And for, if I'm not mistaken, also he said like he felt like you didn't fully, you weren't uh, giving him the the recognition and credit for what he did in that situation, like the role he played in setting uh, up that play for you. Uh, I'm gonna be real. This to be 1,000. I don't remember him hooking up the situation with Walker. He told me that before later on when we hollered because um him and Lab was cool at first. So when me and Lab got cool, he wanted to holler at me. Right. So um, we got on the phone and talked. Lab put him on the phone. I think the conversation went sideways. I don't remember. But um he brought that up, but I didn't remember it then. Um, I remember going to a video shoot and Waka being there and me hollering at Waka or I could have hollered at him. I don't remember. I don't really, I don't really care. Like, I don't yeah. really, I don't really remember. I don't really know. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if he did or didn't. I just don't remember. But, um, given reckon that, like that, that song didn't go platinum. Yeah. Like, what did, what did you do? Like, yeah. you didn't, you didn't, you didn't have a, I don't understand what you just connected the dots, but that's the whole thing. Like I do a lot of shit for motherfuckers and don't say nothing about it. I done bought so many motherfuckers. I done put so many motherfuckers like, in you, position you, you definitely told to me. get money. Yeah, you feel me? Not even just Bay Area artists. You get what I'm saying? But nigga, not looking for no brownie points for that shit. If you did it, you did it. Be a real nigga about it and not to 
genuine of your heart. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So not like he hooked it up, song went platinum, and I ain't shout him out about the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember, bro. That shit was so long ago. And about taking them out the video, come on, bro. I don't, I don't edit videos, how you ever, bro. I don't, how you I don't, ever I don't, I don't take somebody direct, out of video Direct before. videos, bro. That's that's little <laughs> petty kid shit, bro. Like, ain't nobody yeah. thinking that. If it was that if it was that big of an issue, bro, he wouldn't have been there. Yeah. Just to be 1,000. He was at the video shoot, bro. Yeah. He was in the studio. Now, if you was to the side and not trying to be in the camera or not trying to be seen or that's... I ain't, I'm not, oh, take him out, don't film him. Come on, bro. Like, yeah. what type of shit is that? I would have, if it was that big of an issue, it would have been an issue. And it wasn't no issue. So I just feel like he probably was just looking for something to have a reason to have a problem with a nigga, but it really, really wasn't no problem. Dizzler just put out um, a new list. I guess y'all can both comment on this. Uh, they put out a, a, who's the hottest artist in the five or no? Um, you know, I I can't help but notice. You know, there's no filthy on here. It's no, it's, never it's no me, FOD artist. You know that. <laughs> you know that. Thizzler ain't gonna never post me, man. Shout out to Thizzler though, man. Because back in the day, they used to love me. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I thought you was talking about. The clip that went viral. I didn't know you were talking clip about. Went viral the, as yeah, well. I didn't know that you were talking I, about the AWACS I'm, thing. I'm not shout out to AWACS, man. Keep doing I'm your not thing, man. To say, I but, did get a phone call from Thizzler. Did you? I did, and they were, and they, that, the, and basically the call was like. It wasn't like a bad call. They're just like you know, why like why resurface that? And I'm because gonna, they know they know they know who I ain't gonna lie. They when does Danielson ever be Mister Miyagi, man? They know who who the nigga, bro. They know who was fucking with them from the jump. Them niggas used to be posting my shit without us asking them to do the shit. Them niggas used to be begging me to come do interviews and shit. So our whole falling out was basically I signed Tudor. They was putting out Tudor videos and was taking his money. And when I brought them to the distribution company, they told me that they had claims and shit with them and been trying to get, you know, the other artists they money from Thizzler. Thizzler was taking the money. So I asked them about it. You get what I'm saying? And basically they end up releasing the claims. They felt like if they put the video up, they can pocket the bread. But so we had the conversation over Face um over um FaceTime. The nigga didn't want to show his face. He put the, about other, the IG live shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Over here, um, oh, yeah, the nigga yeah, Matt. I, yeah, I get that. He, he, he want to show his face. Yeah. So with that being said, if you can't trust a nigga want to show his face. Nah, for sure. And then the whole thing was, he said, we found the recent tweet. I mean, old tweet of him saying like, if y'all want to come over here and release your money and learn how to get paid off your um thing, we can show you how to do it. But I'm just saying, if you for the culture, so say say Fonte just started rapping, he popping in the street, he hot. You know that. So you gonna try to bait him in like, hey, give me a video, I'll put it up here for free. Yeah. Knowing that you're gonna get paid off the views. On the back knowing end, that yeah. he don't know. Yeah. So, but he not getting paid. So say he just did a mean views and you owe him twenty five hundred. Instead of giving him the bread, you're gonna say, shoot us another video, we're gonna put it up again. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So he thinking he he thinking he winning by the, the, views. the views and the buzz, <laughs> but you getting pat you getting paid for it. Yeah. Instead of instead of saying, Hey bro, I got a check for you for five G's. You know how much that'll make that nigga get back in the studio and go rap? Yeah, mm -hmm. you got this nigga bipping, pimping, robbing, um, doing whatever shit, to go yeah. shoot that video that he paid for. Mind you, he, mind you, he, he halfway in the streets, halfway out. You get what I'm saying? So you stagnating the niggas. So I spoke up for it. You don't gotta post me. I'm bigger than the list. Yeah, I'm bigger than the list. Let's make a list about the CEOs. Let's make a list about <laughs> about the, how many niggas put niggas in positions. How many niggas that, that have been doing this shit for ten years and who got the most money? Let's make a list about that. I don't need to be on the FOD list. Yeah. I mean, I don't need to be on the Thizzler list. Yeah. FOD artists don't need to be on that. We bigger than that. You get what I'm saying? We made that. We made the platform for them to make a list. Yeah, and, Here, and, and 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 then see my whole thing to them was just like, you know, one I don't tell other like Instagram pages to post shit. Yeah, it just get that posted. That shit small, bro. That shit small. <laughs> Niggas bigger than that shit, bro. They ain't gonna post nothing FOD because they haters. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you showing it because when the list goes up or whatever, motherfuckers tag us. Yeah, like you tagging exactly. us. Like you can't you can't overlook this shit. You can't overlook this shit, so keep doing what you're doing. Keep looking like a hater, bro. We winning over here. You feel me? We ain't worried about your list. Your list don't solidify nothing. And then at the end of the day, it's like, it's at the end of the day, it's like, bro, like, you doing that shit to be funny. Like, like it's like he reached out to you and called. He could have reached out to us and called. You feel me? 
That nigga got my number. Got the same. <laughs> hey, man, I got the same number. Nigga used to be texting and calling. They come do interviews and send your artist shit up over. I got the same number. He ain't changed, nigga. Period. Nah, nah. I feel like I, I don't, like to me like if you just kept it real and weren't hurting about the situation, like to me that don't mean like not post niggas or That's you what said. It's about. That nigga took me off the banner and everything. Like when he posted Bear artist. <laughs> that nigga in this feeling. That nigga did hella bitch ass shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You want a hug, bro? You want you want to be cool again, bro? We could be cool, bro. It's good, bro. Like, yeah, I got What like, the uh, fuck, bro? Uh, like, like that nigga did all type of little weirdo ass shit, bro. Like, but like I said back in the day, niggas post our videos. Like he built our his platform off us. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So he used to post all our videos without us asking. So as they got their buzz, now they want to start charging. Then you manipulating the youth, you feel me? You misleading the youth. Like, niggas that's rapping, trying to get out the streets. You taking their videos and getting paid off of it. And them niggas ain't getting paid. I done, I've been heard plenty of artists wasn't getting paid from Thizzler that was putting their videos up. But you go on their thing, the platform is this, so they feel like, okay, get paid or be famous. They not even worried about it. These niggas don't got no any. They never. They never put the song on iTunes for they gave them the video, so they don't even know. Yeah. So he just monetizing the content and keeping the money. Nah, that's fucked up for sure. Period. But you, but mine. You already stole the name Thizzler. The name Thiz, like that. That's back you are. Come on, you already ran with that. <laughs> you already ran with that. Now you, now you taking the niggas' money. Like, come on. Like all I'm saying is get it. All I'm saying is pay the niggas. Cause if I was doing it, that's how I would do it. If you supposed to be for the people, be for the people, bro. I actually saw a, a funny comment um, on on the clip that I posted, and it was like, "Filthy and innovators need to start uh, uh, their own <laughs> their own platform for people to." Yeah, uh, we do our own podcast. <laughs> Make my own list. You feel me? Make my own list, man. Straight up, I got. I'll make the whole list would be FOD artists, nigga. Straight up, what the fuck you talking about? I I think I, I it is it is kind of crazy though, you know when. when List in general, like to me, niggas are never going. You it's feel me? It's a five with no list. Who all on it? Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna read off all the names of the list. Uh, all Black, Jim, Capolo, Fredo, Bags. This the order? This I don't think it's no order. I think it's just that it's just they they hottest. They got Blaster. They got Guap Dad. They got uh, this Oakland or just that's I, Richmond this, too? This, yeah, this is just five with no. It's just say five with no. They got Rex Life Raj. Uh, Kato, Pilo, Kamaya, Luis Gotti, uh, Kai Benji, Cold Game, 1100 himself, and Mitchell, Baby Gas, G Pop. Hottest two artists on there is Fredo and Cold Game. Yeah, them niggas for sure popping right now. Them niggas got the, you feel me? Like, they got you know, the streets for sure. I, I ain't biased, you get what I'm saying? I don't politic, I don't gang bang, I, don't, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't a one, two, three, or four. You feel me? I'm a five. I'm from Seminary. Yeah. You feel me? I'm a big five now. I don't got nothing to do with none of that. But I'm saying yeah. musically wise in the streets, that's who got, you feel me? Yeah. What's going on? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to everybody on the list though, but, but shit. So out of all them people on the list, Filthy couldn't be on the list. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, definitely. That's I crazy. thought you could definitely take somebody out. And no, it ain't even about taking nobody out. You could have made a bigger list. <laughs> you could have made a bigger list. Like, shout out to everybody on the list. But I'm just saying, come on, bro. Like, you know how many niggas on that list I motivate? You know how many niggas on that list I didn't, I didn't work with? You know what I mean? Um, niggas a lot on that of list, you feel me? Sure. Come on, bro. Like, come on. That's still doing their thing. I said, make a list about a nigga that's been doing this shit for 10 years plus. Still got a buzz. Make a list about... A nigga that's putting niggas in position. I done put more niggas on that list in position. You get what I'm saying? For them to feed their family and get money. Yeah. But but that's the whole thing. Dizzler list don't solidify nothing, bro. That shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. Like like I said, I don't care what these niggas do with these podcasters or blogs or these, you feel me, these pussies and powers do, bro. I don't care about that shit. That shit don't do nothing to me, bro. Like, I'm a different type of nigga, bro. That shit can't, that shit, that shit don't bother me at all. Shout out to Dizzler, though, man. Nah, I mean, shit, you, you got your own platform. You yeah. really don't need nobody. I don't, <laughs> I don't need that. But you feel me? If I really just wanted to go at Thizzler and bash him, like, you feel me? I could shut that shit down, bro. If I really just wanted to get up here every day and talk about that shit and <laughs> go crazy, and you feel me? I'm not doing that, bro. Like, I've been said that Thizzler's a great platform for the Bay Area, but if you're going to do it, do it do right. right. Do it the right I, way. I, I always said that. I've never said, only thing I just didn't like was what you did with that. 
Yeah, I, and, and my whole thing in the phone conversation was just like, one, it's an old clip. Two, I'm like, Nick, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, my subscribers have grown, so most people might have seen, my, some people might not have seen it, yeah. you know. It might they catch on back then. You know, but I think that's the whole point of, of re-dropping the clip. I'm like, nigga, it yeah. ain't no shot at y'all. Like, I'm like, niggas still feel this way. Like, he didn't. Yeah. It's not like I dis. I, it's not like I put some out there that nobody knew or nobody think about. about. Yeah, think about it. How many people? Like, I ain't gonna lie. You interview a lot of people on here, and my name always come up. For sure. Have I ever called you and told you to take a clip down? Nah. Okay, so the truth hurts. Yeah. You feel me? A lot of niggas get on here and lie about a nigga and said all. I didn't seen all type of shit. They send me. Oh, this nigga said this. This nigga said this. Well, I ain't. Hey, bro. Take that down, bro. I don't care what these niggas say. I don't care what these niggas think because I know who I am when I get up and wash my face. You feel me? So he calling you. To, has he ever called you before? It wasn't It wasn't Matt. It yeah. was, uh, He's not going to. He's going to send somebody else. Yeah. He's not going to respond. He's going to send his orders to respond. or somebody. Or, that's why when I was on the, on the live with him, he had somebody else talking. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? He's not going to do it, but the message got sent. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So. Nah, it was definitely the brought up hurts, that bro. people the were feeling the type of I guess they had to be the people was feeling the type no, of way. No, because not even just them, not even just you posted it. Like some sites from, like some Instagrams from the Bay yeah, posted that shit. But it's like, I, yeah. it wasn't like, a, it wasn't like I was telling them like, hey, I'm trying to get this to go viral yeah. and repost it. I'm like. Y'all don't, don't boycott this little man. <laughs> Let this little do their thing, man. But just make sure whatever y'all do from here on out with them is right, man. You feel me? So if 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 I got to take that one on the chin to not get posted on their list <laughs> for the culture, man, I'm going to take that, man, for my people, man. Nah. I'm, how y'all feel about the, um, just to get off this topic, but the monkey pox shit. Y'all been seeing that? I just seen that shit yesterday. Somebody that shit kind of scary. Somebody sent it to me. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> That shit, I just hope that shit don't like go crazy. Though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that shit don't kind of go crazy. Like, uh, the it's COVID been shit. Monkey bites. We just been getting monkey bites in the hood. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that, that shit's for sure hella crazy. Um, Fonte, like, uh, what can we expect, like, coming soon, like, with the music and shit? Like, what's your plans? Shit, a whole, a whole, a whole lot more music. A whole lot more music consistency, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot more videos. Uh, me and Bang, we working on an EP right now. That's tight. You know what What's saying? up with Bang? Where Bang at? Y'all didn't bring Bang through? Yeah, I'm about to, come, about to <laughs> okay. drop um, June 3rd, Big 2-8. Yeah. Yep, shout out Bang. So, yeah, shit, everybody working. You know, just more work, more content, more music, everything. Did you do like a you you been like doing a lot of on the interview run? Right? Did you do like a lot of interviews before that or? No. Why not? Just because you didn't want to or? Nah, I just nobody was reaching out to me to do interviews. Uh, I think a buzz wasn't all the way up like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, didn't even you know just didn't had the right motherfuckers behind me that you know the right push and shit. So, you know, Phil and everybody, FOD. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to them. Him, you know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody else, that <laughs> motherfucker's just tapping in there. Yeah. So, yeah. Outside of music, what, what do you like to do? Shit, I, I just be chilling. I just kick back. I be at home. Yeah. I be in the house. I don't be doing shit. You like? Would yeah. you say you you an introvert or nah? I just I just be at home, at home watching TV, just watching TV and fucking writing, yeah. listening to hella beats and shit. But other than that, I don't. Doing too much going out and shit like that, and then any producers you uh, rocking with specifically right now? I've been uh, fucking with Bakery a lot lately. Uh, Drew Banger, he uh, blessed me with a few beats and everything. Feezy, this a banger. I've yeah, been fucking are. with him since yeah. the beginning. Uh, 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 King me, Riz, he uh been. Shooting me beats and shit, so I got like like four producers right now that I'm that really locking like in with. Tough, type shit. My nah, nah I, I feel that. But can anybody send you a beat? Like, if a producer is watching this, you want to send you a beat? You you listen to it? Y'all check you check it out? Yeah, I check it out. Yeah, is, is that the same for you too, Filthy? Or are you not taking beats from everybody right now? Nah, I got a whole album. I, um, done. In-house producer named Blame It On Monster, like 14 songs. Uh, 
I just go off what I be feeling like. Like I be like, I already know who I want to go to. So they just send me beats if you want. I'm gonna spread them across the artists because I'm I'm already locked in with who I'm locked in. I really just tell him, hey, make something like this or make something this tempo or put a sample in this or make a female song like this. Like when the shit, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. mm-hmm. it's like then a lot of these producers, bro. You, I ended up with a lot of weird shit with these producers to where it's like. Nigga be like, man, I'm missing you some beats, and then you, and then he, uh, you send him, send you some beats, and you use them. Then nigga try to charge you after you didn't use the beat. Yeah, that's crazy. And yeah, then, I, uh, I, how do y'all, y'all feel about that? The claim on it, but <laughs> yeah. it's cool. But if you gonna charge, say it up front. Yeah. Don't be like on some fan groupy shit and like I'm trying to get heard. I just want you, and then once the shit get out and like, oh, this coming out on Empire. Oh, you got this big feature on it. Oh, I need this. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like. Like turn to some snake shit later on. Me, all I'm gonna do is remake the beat anyway. Yeah, it that's why I'm saying. Before. I'm like, just revamp that motherfucker fast. You, you can keep that motherfucker. I don't even want it. Maybe yeah. I'm gonna see you some beats. I'll be like, all right, you send them, but I'm not paying for them. Yeah, you know, but then you he tell me you gonna send me. They'll some see beats, that you. Yeah. I ain't about to pay for them. They'll, they'll see I like come to you. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll see like okay, oh he put a big feature on the beat or it's coming out on a big album or something, and then just get you feel me like all the. The work that you were just trying to do, like get heard, all that shit out the window. Now, now you try to get some money. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you, you would say that a producer should just up front be like, "Look, I got beats. This is what they going for." Yeah, I didn't pay for beats before, but I'm yeah. saying you gotta just let them know. Supposed to do that with anything. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm sure. saying. If you want Especially your money, you gotta let them know. If you just coming in the game, you should <laughs> trying to be heard. That's just like if a nigga he fresh on the block. You feel me? And, 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 and he just stepped out there. Like I remember giving away samples yeah. for them to come fuck with me. You get what I'm saying? So or, or giving away deals, whatever it was. But yeah. at the end, you're trying to build up your clientele. So at the same time, it's like, don't present it like that. And then behind closed doors, you do some some old other ass shit. Put a claim on the motherfucker mm-hmm. now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Or don't want to release the claim now because now you want 50000 Like, come yeah. on, bro. Like, 50, <laughs> th- bro, you ain't never got paid 5000 for a beat before. Now you want fifty out of yeah. nowhere? Come on, bro. Like, like that, that is crazy. And I, I have a... Uh, I have heard like a lot of uh, stories like that where niggas, after the song is about to come out, they like, I, I'm trying to get my money. Yeah. You know, I, I, I do be feeling bad for producers because they don't always get to shine, but like. No, no, no. It's producers that got, man, look at 808 Mafia. Yeah. It's, Certain it's, producers it's, it's is popping as motherfucker. That they, what? What's the mustard? Nigga, yeah. You popping as a you motherfucker. You gotta let it know up front what yeah. it is. <laughs> I didn't try to get a beat from Mustard before. Yeah. So that nigga didn't told me something crazy. They like, tried to charge I you. Left you home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I ain't ready. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> but shit, that but that's just even like verses. Niggas hit me up. Let me get a verse from me. I'm gonna tell you what I want. You yeah. asking? Like yeah. I'm gonna tell you mm-hmm. what I want, and you can't complain what it is. If I go to Jay right now and be like, Jigga, man, I need a verse. And he like, I need a million. And I'm, oh, man, this nigga trying to charge me. Yeah. Nigga, you shot high. Yeah. He went for Jigga. Nigga, you th- what, you, what you thought? Yeah. What you thought? Nigga, you supposed to be prepared. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. And then niggas get mad when you, nigga, this is a business, bro. I get paid for this shit, bro. I, get, I do shows. I got to fly out of town, taking away from my family, taking away from my artists, my label, my yeah. my breeding dogs, all type of shit. Nigga, this is, I get paid for all that. I don't do this shit for free. Yeah. You feel me? If I go do a verse with a nigga, if I do it for free, it's out the love, or I fuck with you. But other than that, if it's business, it's business, nigga. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Apparently, I don't. We not, we don't have that type of relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, does the price vary on a feature, depending on who it is? Does the price vary on a feature? If a nigga is not popping at all, he probably gotta pay the full thing. But if, if oh, it's he, always the full if thing. He, if I'm charging you, it's the full I'm, thing. So what it's if he kind of pop it? What if he kind of pop it? Then but I'm it, not gonna charge you. If I'm if I'm gonna charge you, I'm gonna charge you. If I'm not, I'm not. So for you, if you gonna charge, you charge it. What you charge, yeah. it don't matter. Yeah. If I'm going, I'm I'm not gonna charge ten thousand right here and a thousand over here. Yeah. I might as well just do it for free. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's either ten thousand. I don't fuck with you, and and <laughs> we, we you going to verse? You feel me? Or is for the F for the love. Yeah. You my nigga. Yeah. Not saying that I don't fuck with you like I got a problem with you, but I'm saying like I don't know you. Yeah. You you, you getting in the rap game and you want a verse. Okay, cool. Like nigga, I done bought a verse before for a nigga. I'm, <laughs> I'm having money. Yeah. Nigga, hey, I don't know this nigga. Yeah. I wanna hear this nigga on my song. I'm showing this nigga nigga East Oakland having money. I ain't yeah. doing it on no on no nerd shit, nigga. We we man, is we touching it around here. We having it, nigga. Yeah. Okay, cool. This nigga ain't gonna come get on my song for no reason. I don't know him. Yeah. 
You feel me? I want to hear you on my shit, nigga. Yeah. It ain't like you pressing me for the bread, nigga. I'm, yeah. I'm pressing you. Do you ever feel that people are might be like too like uh, entitled, or they feel like ah, oh, filthy trying to charge me? Like what the fuck? Like yeah, I done had niggas I went to high school with get mad. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> pull up on the block like how much for a burger? This was back in the day. I'm like give me five G's. I'm like bro, we want. This is what you it is, me. bro. Yeah, I feel you. You pull up to the block, ask me what I want for a verse. That's what I want. We went to school together. Okay, cool. Apparently, our friendship at school or whatever it was wasn't wasn't like that. You feel me? This is a you gotta understand. This is a business, bro. You can't go to the you can't go to the mall and complain about how much some Jordans cost. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I get the fuck out there. Period. You can't negotiate with them. So why you never trying to negotiate with me? Nigga? If you don't want it, you don't want it. Nah, I, I can respect that for sure. Uh, <clears throat> 50, you said you got a new album coming out. Can you tell me about a name or anything? What what can we expect of, with that? It'll be out later this year. Okay. You got a name you can share with me? <laughs> It'll be out. It'll be out. You know what I'm saying? It'll be out. For both of y'all. My last album. What you mean? My last album. Of the year or? My last album. Period. 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 Sure. Your last album, period. Last album, done. You're not gonna drop no more. No, I'm done. Focus on life, I'm done. Yeah. Filthy. What, what, what you mean? You just, you just. I'm a, I still be on they tapes and shit, but I'm but not gonna, not gonna drop, drop another yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. I'm still do. I still do verses and shows and shit, but I ain't, I ain't about to. You feel me? Why, why, why you feel like that? Cause I feel like I didn't, I didn't did enough. You get what I'm saying? As an in independent label, you get what I'm saying? I wanna, I don't wanna take away from the label and focus on them like you know what i'm saying and then with this music shit, sometimes like your heart still be in it but just in a different part you get what i'm saying so plus i never wanted to rap forever you know what i'm saying Nigga, so you see your status yeah that's it that's it i can sit back i don't want i've been in the light you feel me? Like these niggas get in the light. <laughs> you know what i'm saying like these niggas shine like i ain't i ain't i ain't stingy like that you know what i'm saying so that's what I, that's where i'm at with it so the album done. I just been shooting videos. Yeah, I got like six videos off the album already shot, already done. Filthy, filthy, and definitely a hard worker. Yeah. And one thing I always commend you for is you be on time. Yeah, <laughs> which is is I feel like it's rare. Been doing the FOD weekend. That's all we've been doing, just working, knocking out everybody um, projects, shooting videos. What we didn't did? We did Vegas, Arizona. Y'all got Miami, Houston coming up. Houston. Yeah. I might do Hawaii in July. What is that? Can you? Can, I got. I got you already oh, I didn't it. tell you. Oh, they tripped off that last year. They got my shit on hold right now. I can't even book no. What you the, feel me? That other one, the I one you talking about last time that they, that was fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I'm, they like you cannot book no more here in BBs right now. For real? Yeah, I was trying to go to Hawaii in July and do one out there. My nigga, CM birthday. They got us on. They got me on on standby right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody fucked up the Airbnb, man. Can, can y'all say? I mean, y'all can say what y'all want to say, but what what is the FOD weekend like? What, 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 what? Fun party and see see my whole thing was like like a lot of niggas on the label. Like you feel me? They from the hood. You get what I'm saying? So I was doing it to try to take my niggas outside the hood, see something different. And still work at the same time. You feel me? And enjoy themselves. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had an older nigga doing that for me back in the day when I wanted to rap. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, cool. Let's let's get this big ass mansion, 21 beds in Vegas. Let's go to um Arizona. Let's go fuck it up in Arizona. Arizona open market. They fuck with a nigga out there. I love that. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big ass pool. We had three Airbnbs out there. For real, yeah, it was cool. Hey, Z got some crazy Airbnbs yeah. for sure. Go to Miami. We went to Miami. Well, we went to uh, y'all went that's to Tootsie. Uh, then we went to uh, oh, that's that uh, shit lit. We yeah. went to Booby Trap. I never been there. It's about, I know it's about taking some trips and buying some whips, man. Treat yeah. yourself. Don't cheat yourself, man. See some shit. Your yeah. life is bigger than just Oakland. Yeah. So nah, facts. Like, so right. a nigga, t a nigga right. told right. nigga this when I was rapping. It was like, right. all he do is rap about being on the block. He don't, he don't rap about nothing else. At that time being, I hadn't seen nothing else to rap about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I, I hadn't been past Saliandro, past Ben's Burger. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing else to rap about. Yeah. So it's like, I always told, I always told, like, in my baby mama, I first started rapping, she was like, 
uh, you really gonna rap? I'm like, yeah, but I'm like, I ain't gonna be one of these rappers that rap about shit I ain't never seen or done. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, just let me show these niggas something different. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, it's bigger than just hanging on the block. It's bigger than just Oakland. You feel me? Step out. You feel me? Yeah. Broaden your horizon or something, man. Nigga might come up with a hit in Miami or something. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nigga might come up with a hit in Arizona or something. You get what I'm saying? I recorded yeah, a whole yeah. album in Miami. For real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, Miami's yeah. a vibe. I can, I can see that happening for sure. Yeah. yeah, we was just chilling. And Airbnb had the engineer and shit. He got to use them skits. <laughs> oh, the, uh, Ooh, the, the perky perk, skits. The perky skits. <laughs> Yo, making some skits out there. No, it was a little. It was just, <laughs> <laughs> she was a bitch, she was talking, right? Yeah. She didn't know she was being recorded, though. She yeah. was talking about them perkies. Though. We're like, perky. we got to bring them old school skits perky. back. Yeah. Them hot boy days. Birdman, they used to put them skits on the album and shit. Yeah. It bust that motherfucker down to, to three pieces, man. Mm hmm Nah, that's what's up. Now, I, I do think it is important to, to get out of your environment and, and see the world and shit. So, I think it is dope that y'all y'all do go y'all do go out of town. Y'all live it up. You feel me? Cause you right and though. We, and with the niggas everywhere we go. Yeah. Nah, bitches I, pulling I, up. I be seeing it. I be seeing it. <laughs> that's why I'm like, what, what's going on out there? You can't get turned down. Uh, we in the, the mall. It's everything. The, uh, what? What? The, the nail bitch pulling up. Yeah. Oh, the, oh yeah. The bitch come get him niggas some <laughs> manicures and shit. Yeah. I mean everything. Bitch come cook. What fettuccine Alfredo? What they came? We got we shooting uh, videos. We going to them. It's turned up everywhere we go. I'm yeah. Serving niggas in hoop. I'm dogging niggas on the hoop court. Nah, yeah, that's when they lost. <laughs> that's when they lost that three water <laughs> in Miami <laughs> or no, we're in, in, in Arizona. Easy yeah, man. We we yeah. got big pool out there. You got some of these niggas ain't ain't never been in the pool. Just some only, niggas just have only, never left the bay. Just only Still been in the um, in the bathtub. They yeah, never been straight in the pool, up. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to show niggas. It's bigger and better shit out there in the world and just being stuck, you feel me, on the block. You know, at the same time, though, have fun. And we is working, though. So, whoever album ain't done, we working on that. Turn that in, getting all that shit done. You know what I'm saying? Like, the deluxe, like, them four songs, we record them at AZ. Yeah. Um, so, we ended up knocking out Trey album and on the Vegas one. He did a whole album in Miami. Um, Where I did, like, two videos. Yeah. And, uh, no, I did three videos in Arizona. Huh? In Arizona, yeah. Three videos we, we in Arizona. did the deluxe yeah. in Arizona. Niggas is working. Yeah, Houston, uh, I'm supposed to be knocking out this video I got with uh, Kirk o Bangs out there. Oh, that's tight. And then I got a, uh, which I did the song with him in Arizona. Yeah. And then I got a meet and greet. We're going to go out, we're going to fuck around. And I'm, I'm trying to see. Houston be lit. They right take me off restriction, man. I'm, uh, I want to probably do Hawaii in July. Oh, what you, oh, the, uh, you can't. I can't book nothing right yeah. now. They got me on they hold got, right no, now. They got you. Because yeah, of Arizona. Yeah. Y'all was fucking around. Doing too much. That's what that sounds like. We was doing too hey, much. Hey, Airbnb do be tripping though. Like, Cause we was out there a whole week, like dinner. Oh, uh, see, y'all was really. We, even be out yeah, we left a week early. <laughs> I was at the house board. I'm like, bro, you want to go? You want to cut right now? Like, Hell, y'all looked up some. <laughs> <laughs> Booked that motherfucker and jumped on the so road. We, we, we was out there. From Vegas, we was out there a week before FOD. We can even start it. Yeah. Just fucking around the board. Nah, AZ is definitely one of my favorite places to go to, mm -hmm. for sure. I fuck AZ tough, for sure. Y'all got a you got y'all got a favorite city that y'all like to go to? Uh, I like Detroit. I like Detroit a lot. I like to go to the strip club, get them lamb chops. You feel me? I like the you eat club. lamb chops at the strip club? Lamb chop, fried, <laughs> fried lobster tail. That's that's oh, not that's a California shit. thing, though. No. That's inside the club. You got to have that shit. So, look, you go in there, strip club, get drunk, strippers, have fun, and then order you a plate to go. Before you leave up out of there, yeah. oh, man, that's going to be the best plate you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be the best plate. Man. They don't got shit like that in the Bay. Nah. They don't got, they don't got like, no, they don't. They don't have no music scene in the Bay. Like, no, you feel me? They yeah, where you go to, get your record spin right here. I don't know about shit. But you got a favorite city? Shit, Detroit. I had a hella fun out there. I yeah. went to Detroit like a few years ago, but right before I went to jail. So, but that's where I had my most fun at. Out In of Detroit, town. yeah, fucking around in them strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta go yeah. fuck around in Detroit. All right. Uh, well, I, what was it? What club is that? Uh, what was it? Ace of Spades or some yeah, shit? Ace of Spades. I got yeah, three. I was in that motherfucking. Yeah, it was yeah, late in that motherfucker. Rotting. But it was cool out there. I enjoyed it. So. Yeah, Detroit. I like Detroit. Do y'all have um, and Fonte? I feel the how you giving me a lot of uh, advice for independent, but Fonte, I want to know what you think about this. But do you have any advice for independent artists? You know, um, trying to get into music, trying to you feel me catch that break. You feel me? 
um, people that was in your position at one point, what advice would you give to them? Keep working. You know, don't stop, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter shit, how long that shit take, everything uh, come to you when the, when the time is right. You know what I'm saying? But keep on working. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never too old for the shit either. So don't feel like, you know what I'm saying, you get to a certain age and, and, and it's over with for you. You know what I'm saying? So I just say just keep working, stay consistent. Don't worry about who fuck with you and who don't fuck with you. You know what I mean? Because the most important thing is you fucking with yourself. Yeah. So you yeah. can't expect people to fuck with that, you harder than you fuck with yourself. A lot of niggas that don't yourself. fuck with you going to try to come back and fuck with you later. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, and it's the same. Does I'm, that it's bother you? It's happening to me right now. Does that bother you? <laughs> Does niggas, what bother me? Niggas that wasn't fucking with you, that wasn't, and was not, was not interested in the music at all, and then, of course, they see you, you get signed, they see you start making moves, and now they're like, Big bro, what up? My nigga, what up? Like, <laughs> nah, nah. It, it, it don't bother me. Like, a long time ago, like, a long time ago, I used to be like, man, this shit crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just so focused on my talent. You know what I'm saying? And not really too much thinking about the work I'm putting in. You know, so, and a lot of motherfuckers wasn't fucking with me because of my situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm in and out of jail and all that shit like that. So I really wasn't taking that in consideration. Like, who would want to fuck with a motherfucker and take a chance to put uh, thousands of dollars behind a motherfucker who can go to jail tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? To be gone for two years, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. today, that shit don't bother me. Uh, it, it, it's happened because everybody... Yeah, and expect everybody, you to come pick you up later on. Because yeah. everybody going to fuck with you for their own like reasons. You know what I'm saying? So a motherfucker might want to fuck with you for this reason, but right now, you ain't ready to fuck with them. You're not ready for them. But you might be ready for this person. You know what I'm saying? So... I just, you just can't, yeah, hell no, nah, they don't fuck with me at all. Yeah, you gotta just peep the I know they gonna bro, come be back. a good judge of character. A lot of <laughs> niggas gonna try to fuck with you for their own self gain. They ain't gonna have no choice but to come back. It's, it's, it's for what they can gain out of it. You get what I'm saying? Not what you can gain out of it. It's really mm -hmm. like, it's really no artist in it. There's nothing that no artist in the bank could do for me. Like, as in, like, if I go do a song with them, it's yeah. not gonna do nothing for me. You get what I'm saying? It's gonna do something for them. Yeah. So it's like, okay, cool. They be mad at me on some. They might see me fuck with this artist over here, but he don't fuck with me like that. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't necessarily that we got a problem with each other. It's just we just never connected like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But like I said, I always big up everybody coming out the Bay. Every artist coming out of Oakland, man. Keep, keep doing your thing because we putting on for the city, trying to make the city look good. Like, you know what I'm saying? If niggas came together on some real genuine shit, shit would be a lot different. You know what I'm saying? That's what I be trying to teach my niggas. I be, man, support is free. You feel me? Share a nigga post, man. If your nigga got a new picture, post that shit. Nigga got a new video, post that shit. You feel me? Treat, treat your nigga shit like it's your shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Without a nigga asking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing. Like, you see this shit. You feel me now? If, if the niggas that come, hey, bro, post my shit that you ain't been fucking with, them the, them the ones to watch out for. They trying to get a post, they trying to build their likes, or build their catalog, or build their buzz off you. But it ain't genuine, you yeah. feel me? So, and you just gotta just, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna deal with that, that come with this shit. Filthy, is there any update you wanna give on the case, or anything you wanna say about that? Cause uh, people, I guess they just kinda don't wanna know what, what's going on with that. Uh, we fighting it right now, man, we fighting, man. You seen you seen Tank the other day, nigga. <laughs> we fighting right now. Uh, shit, no, they asking for <laughs> they asking for some time, no, but shit, man. Uh, I'm just trying to push that shit back and um, uh, you know, as far as possible. Maybe they drop it, drop the time down. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But you feel me? Whatever it is, it's gonna get taken care of. Uh, before I get out of here, are, are y'all in the basketball at all or? You in the back? Are you in the back? Fifty? Are you in the back? The Warriors, Boston. I didn't even know who John Morant was. <laughs> For real? I ain't even know basketball. <laughs> <laughs> see how? See how you doing? I ain't even know John Morant. They show us crazy. We're like, Arizona. They like, man, you know, I'm like, who the fuck y'all arguing over? They in there arguing. They tell me, man, so and I had put a line in the song. Like, you didn't like, John Morant. Know who that nigga was? <laughs> <laughs> That's hella funny. Uh, but but I. 
put the line in the song after I knew who he was. Though. Yeah, after they told him. Yeah, 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 dog man. for sure. I ain't put it in there before I didn't know who he was. <laughs> yeah, he like, man, what the fuck is y'all What do y'all, what, Fonte, what you think about uh, the Warriors versus Boston? You think they're going to win? You think? Man, I got Boston. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Boston, man. They ain't ready for Tatum. I feel Woo. Me. I ain't gonna lie. Wow, because he's supposed to go with the Bay because he's from the Bay. I'm from the Bay. I'm, I'm rolling with the Warriors. Bay, I'm bro. rolling with the Warriors. See, you, I, That's crazy. Me, I, I like the Warriors. I love the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm an old school Chicago Bulls. But I, be wow. to, I, 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 I can't be Jordan, a fan man, all the time. Pippen, man, I, I can't, Robin, I can't man, be a fan you know all the time. You know what I'm saying? So you Curry got Boston. Shit, man. And how many games? I don't want to say it. Sweet. <laughs> sweet? I don't want to say it. I don't want to say sweet. Uh, nah, it's like six though. Six. Six. I say I say Boston in six. Nah, I mean you're not the only nigga that told me, that told me that. I I I think the Warriors gonna win, but you know I respect it. Boston not weak though. Boston. You don't make it to the finals. Boston be never weak. been weak though. Yeah, you don't make it to the finals to be weak. Like they got. As as they got but I, I always be going, I, know, I know everybody want the Warriors to win. I, I damn near probably know the Warriors gonna win deep down inside. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, no, but you know what I'm saying? This is how I get my bets. Sometimes yeah. you know what I'm saying? I lose. Nah, if you if you better, you want to bet on Boston. I, I sure. can't get no bet if I bet with the Warriors. Yeah. The whole world gonna bet with them. So yeah. the only way for me to win my money is go with the Celtics. Yeah, if you go with the Celtics, you but for I think sure. that's a, I think that's a great matchup though. Honestly, I think uh, the Celtics and the Warriors a great matchup. That yeah, is, it's gonna a, be good. Be a great championship matchup. I'm, I'm excited for it uh, for sure. Uh, do y'all got any final words or anything y'all want to address before y'all get out of here? Uh, just be on the lookout for more. You know what I mean? Fod, we 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 pushing, we working. Just just keep your eyes open. You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on us. You know, cause we we waking shit up. You know what I'm saying? And they that's know who what having it is, the most man. Motion, man. Yeah. <laughs> they know who having the most yeah. motion. Oh, that nigga album out, perfect timing. Perfect timing perfect out timing now on all, all, all platforms. Shit drop June third, big two eight, two of them skinny shit drop June tenth. Rolexes and Cartiers. Um, Lil Trey shit drop June seventeenth. Problem Child three. Loso shit drop June twenty fourth. Sink or Swim. Wop shit coming. Lil Bug shit coming. Debo shit coming. You feel me? We working. It's him a lot and, of music him, on him the way. Bang, him and Bang got an um, EP, EP coming. coming. Mm-hmm. Tuda and Wap got an EP coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit, I got an album on the way. I'm just holding on to it though. You the last me? album. Yeah, I, I might, I might, I might uh, NFT that motherfucker. Or something. You might as well if this gonna be the last one. It's the last one. It's the last one. Yeah, produce all songs produced by Monster. Blame it on Monster. I'm my boy out of Dallas. We might put that one-on-one hoop game up on YouTube soon. Y'all might as well. Who? <laughs> Me and you. <laughs> Y'all might as well. <laughs> Y'all might as well. Look, I ain't I'm no at... hoop star, you feel me? <laughs> I'm a hoop, though. But if yeah, you me. lose, nah. if you lose, that's it. It ain't no rematch. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no rematch. You're not going to get no rematch? No. I'm taking my victory and I'm going. You, you, you better learn. Listen, get get up out of there. Get your victory and go. You get what I'm saying? He don't get a rematch. Uh-uh. No rematches. Though. That's funny. <laughs> but uh, I, I appreciate y'all for pulling up. Um, another do- dope interview on the way, man. Got Killer Fonte. You feel me? Got the one and only 50 Richard here. FOD in the building. I appreciate y'all for sure. Appreciate you too, man.